What up everyone, let's talk about Norwegian crews today. Getting right into it, we have a decline of 12.37% or 2.23 per share. NCLH currently trades at 15.80 per share. 52 week low is 7.03, 52 week high is 59.78. Short interest is 16.83%, market cap is 4.62 billion, volume is around 77 million today. All right, so geez, we've had this awesome rally with cruise line stocks, and now they are tanking. So I'm going to give some quick info, and then I'm going to get into today's move. As a quick reminder, I'm posting daily videos Monday through Friday on the most popular stock of the day, winner or loser. So please consider subscribing and liking this video. All right, so looking at Norwegian holistically, we've got one of the most popularly traded companies in the past few months down over 60% off its highs this year, and certainly with good reason. COVID has decimated its businesses. It's burning millions of dollars every day with its cruise ships empty of passengers and waiting for this disaster to end. You know all this already. So when we go back to March's crash, Norwegian was pummeled down to seven bucks a share. And at that point, the market started recovering and people realized that one day COVID would be over and cruise lines would sail again, one day provided that Norwegian could stay in business. So as we started to get news of vaccines and therapeutics, started to reopen the economy and jobs numbers started to improve, the stock recovered almost 400% from its bottom, up from so about seven bucks a share to almost 28 a share. So as you can see, since June 9th, Norwegian has been on the decline. Obviously, people are taking profits, but we're also starting to struggle seeing a finite end to COVID. Cases are going up in a lot of places, and we haven't heard any major news about vaccines lately. Yes, we've heard about some small breakthroughs or possibilities, but nothing that extreme that would cause the stocks to go up. So because of this resurgence of COVID, Norwegian announced on June 16th that it is extending its suspension until September 30, 2020. This is following very similar news from all other cruise companies. It's a really big headache for investors and naturally caused the stock to decline. Then, for some icing on the cake, we're getting all sorts of downgrades in the cruise industry, bringing us to today where Barclays has decided to generously downgrade Norwegian from overweight to equal weight. And let's not forget, remember back in May, Norwegian was able to raise quite a bit of cash and it has about $3.5 billion of liquidity to make it through the COVID halt. This poses a very interesting scenario because it will give them about 12 months of safe suspension to survive. To me, the main question is if the cruise companies can survive long enough for a successful vaccine to be created, tested, and dispersed worldwide, and 12 months is going to be close. And let's not forget that many people who go on cruises, there are lots of elderly people, and those people are not going to risk exposing them to themselves unless everyone on that ship is vaccinated and I suspect that at some point in this near future we are going to reach a problem where some people are resisting vaccinations and that could definitely limit participation in these leisurely activities. Lastly, before I go, don't forget that Norwegian was warning about bankruptcy back in May before raising the cash, even when it was expected for cruises to start back on August 1st. So at this point, their business depends on the success of vaccine companies and the proper management of this virus by the United States government. Anyways, that's it for today. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and hope to catch you in tomorrow's video.